you want to feel proud about yourself. So like, you know, I struggle with a lot of things with my health. And the one thing I learned at a very young age is take, take care of yourself, you know, take care of your health and take care of your body. It's the only one you get. And I learned that at a young age. And I feel like that's one of the things that I try to do every single day. And I'm proud of it. So when people are like targeting me and trying to be mean for, you know, trying to take care of myself, I'm, I just don't understand because it's like that's something that people should look up to and people should strive to do every single day. You have uh, arthritis? Yes. Yeah, I have an autoimmune disease. So I was born with an autoimmune disease called uh, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. And then once for all the people listening that have autoimmune diseases or someone in their life with an autoimmune disease, you all know this. Once you have one autoimmune disease, you're more than likely to keep getting more. So as I've gotten older, I've accumulated a lot of autoimmune diseases. And um, I've been so nervous growing up sharing that about myself. It was a big secret. I never told anybody. None of my friends knew. What age did you know? So I got diagnosed at age two. Oh my gosh. And I have to thank my parents so much because they were my biggest advocates for me. They did not stop fighting until they found out what my diagnosis was. And I'm so thankful they did because my life would have looked a lot different. I'd probably be in a wheelchair or having hip replacements by the age 20. And my life, you know, could have been a lot different, but my parents fought for me every day until they got the answers that they needed. And when I was two, I got put on a chemotherapy drug called methyltrexate. And I was on the chemo drug for about 10 years and it put me into remission. So there's no cure for the autoimmune diseases, but there you can go into remission. And I was in remission until I was about 16, 17 years old. So I had, I was in remission for a while and then it came back. And when it came back, it came back really hard. And this was when I was really trying to make that push into NASCAR. So it was a really difficult time for me. And um, my body was just fighting itself. So what What my body does is um, it's attacking itself daily. So all the good cells in my body, my they think they're foreign and my body will attack it. Mm. So in my joints and my liver and all different parts of my body, my eyeballs, my body's constantly attacking itself. And so, you know, like those symptoms you get when you have the flu and you're like fatigued and feel weak and body aches. I'll wake up randomly and have those symptoms for days and have like a really bad flare up or like that's what my day looks like constantly is those symptoms because that's essentially what my body's doing. It's fighting itself just like if you were fighting off, you know, the flu. And um, now I surrounded myself with some really good doctors in the Arthritis Foundation and I'm proud to talk about it. I've I've always been scared that people are going to view me as weak, but it has taught me so much and I truly feel strong that I get to, you know, advocate for the kids that are diagnosed at such young ages. Like so many people hear the word arthritis and think of grandma and grandpa or, you know, like stiff joints or like a swollen knee, but there's so much more to it. And I've been put in the emergency room plenty of times. I've had to, you know, not, I've been out of the car multiple times when I was racing in the truck series with Nice Motorsports. There's been, that was a rough year for me. And um, there's so much behind it. And I just want to be an advocate for those people. And they're not alone. And there's so many fans that have come out to the racetrack and we're like, Natalie, like my wife has the same autoimmune disease or I have the same autoimmune disease or my daughter. And just to connect with those people, because when I talk to my husband about it, he can only understand it so much. So to be able to talk to someone who lives with the same diseases me you can connect on such a strong level it's incredible and you like become family at that point and and, and right now i'm 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 like this wow if i had a sticker right now i was sitting i want to put a sticker wow Wow. (laughs) yeah and and here's why because you have this this arthritis and at, at the beginning you were such a good daughter because you thanked your mother and father for you know, helping you at an early age. Uh, You're so complimentary when most people would be mad. And you, now I can see why I'm a big fan of yours. I I just, I just kept thinking, how does she put up with all this? And and now I realize it bleeds down to even your health. Uh, Wow. You've got it. You've got a, a great group around you and I just can't compliment you enough.